Constant development and elimination of mistakes is the key to the success of any company. But is there a way to effectively find and delete these shortcomings? Yes, there is. Today, we'll tell you about value stream mapping. Watch till the end to get tips proven by our Jelvix team. You're on the Jelvix channel, weekly videos on tech in five minutes. Don't forget to subscribe not to miss new videos. Here we go. So what is value stream mapping, or VSM for short? VSM is a unique method of analysis and design of production chains, material flow, and information flow, invented to make business more economical in terms of time and resources. Let's look at an example. This is what a classic VSM model looks like for the DevOps companies. What stages of development do you see on it? Upon receipt of an order, the team begins to plan the process and passes the work to the designers. After that, the developers get to their positions, embodying the desired result. And finally, testers sample the resulting product, which is then sent to a satisfied client. But in real life, things don't always go according to plan, now do they? VSM helps to detect and eliminate bottlenecks and plan errors in time to speed up the delivery of the end product to the end customer and reduce team costs. This idea looks simple and seems to have been used for thousands of years. Well, almost. It's generally accepted that Toyota Corporation is a pioneer in this field. It's likely that before them, someone did use the method of value stream mapping because similar designs can be seen in the book Installing Efficiency Methods by Charles E. Neppel. One way or another, the success of Toyota Motors caught the public's attention. Soon after that, VSM, or Systematizing the Flow of Materials and Information, as it was called in Japan, appeared in all the advisory materials for efficient business teams. But why is this method so popular? Of course, there's a great benefit that a single VSM scheme can bring. Let's see what we're talking about. First, we at Jelvix noticed that visualizing operations helps to find waste in operations. The word waste was used by the researcher Daniel T. Jones to call all processes that do not directly benefit the client and take up team resources. Such waste clogging up the production chain can be, for example, excessive waiting for a response or order, correcting mistakes made at different stages of the chain, overworking, implying a desire to provide a better quality product than the customer demands. Secondly, by discovering the problems and bottlenecks, you can understand their reasons. Often, it lies in the unsatisfactory corporate culture and lack of communication. Finally, knowing the problem areas, you can design a future value stream map in which everything will be perfect. Your profits will go up and your costs will go down. Sounds great doesn't it? Let's say you want to make a VSM circuit yourself. Where do you want to start? We've prepared a little step-by-step -step plan to help you figure it out. First, determine what customer need you're meeting. Maybe the product is too long to develop or the price is too high. Put yourself in the customer's shoes and criticize your work so that you'll come to the truth much faster. Assemble a competent team all the people directly involved in the development process, from executives to testers, can help and give you good advice. Who would you never invite to this team? Share in the comments section. So create and analyze a map of the current process. Don't be afraid to do the work several times because you may find some unpleasant surprises after the second or even third study. Now, having made a full-fledged layout, Think about what actions are unnecessary from the client's point of view. Ask yourself, why are they present in the development chain? Maybe they're there for technical reasons, or you just thought they were necessary. Either way, your job is to think about how to get rid of them. Plan for the future. As you look at the situation, you'll probably find several problems that can be solved quickly and painlessly. Draw another diagram depicting the ideal process and put it into action. Most importantly, don't be afraid to experiment and try new approaches. To make your life even easier, we'll tell you some useful tips based on Jelvik's experience that's proven to be effective. Focus on your employees. 
In fact, the people doing the tasks know how things work better and where they have problems. Talk to them, see how the work is going, and you'll see for yourself what you can fix. Make only reasoned decisions. Intuition is useful in many aspects of life, but not in VSM. Every improvement must have a statistical basis. How do you achieve this result? We advise reading the recent article about data-driven decision-making on our website. The link, as always, is in the description below. Don't eat the whole elephant at once. Your plans should be ambitious, but it can be impossible to implement all the changes at once. Split the work into parts and improve the whole process step by step. It's much easier that way. So, value stream mapping is an essential tool to make your business more fruitful, economical, and profitable. It's not as hard to learn as it sounds, but its impact is significant. Do you have any idea what your VSM would look like after watching the video? Drop the comment. This video was prepared by the Jelvix team. We help top brands worldwide to innovate and accelerate digital transformation. We share the latest news about tech trends and innovations. So make sure to subscribe not to miss a single video. Also, share which topics we need to cover next on our channel. And don't forget to press the bell button. Bye for now.